Today, financial crimes regulations constitute a major concern for the international banking community and probably one of the hottest topics in the banking industry. Why? Because penalties for violations of these regulations can be severe in terms of financial fines, loss of business, and reputational damage. The U.S. regulations are of particular importance because of their extraterritorial reach and because of the exorbitant privilege of the U.S. to enforce its regulations beyond its borders. In the recent years, many international banks were fined because of violations of U.S. regulations. For instance, BNP Paribas has been penalized for 8.9 billion U.S. dollar in 2014. Also, the legitimacy of these banks was challenged and questions were raised about the strategic responses they adopted to restore it. In Lebanon, the banking sector had its share with the collapse of the Lebanese Canadian Bank due to non-compliance with U.S. regulations. The stigmatized legitimacy of this bank has shaken the whole Lebanese banking industry and raised concerns about the compliance measures adopted by the sector in face of the mounting pressure of the U.S. So, my research postulates that the Lebanese banking sector is on continuous quest for the legitimacy of the U.S. regulator on which it is dependent to survive. So my aim was to explore how the sector's legitimacy has evolved over time and to examine how the U.S. regulations have influenced the compliance functions of banks. In addition to the strategic responses adopted by the sector to maintain its legitimacy. To do so, I followed a qualitative approach, retrospective longitudinal design, and I have undertaken a qualitative content analysis of archival data for 20 years, in addition to interviews with participants from the Lebanese banking industry. My results reveal that legitimacy is not static, rather it is dynamic and its dimensions could vary following a cliff in its perception which has affected a whole organizational field. In order to defend its legitimacy, the organizational field adopted a legitimacy-seeking behavior through its compliance functions because of the isomorphic coercive pressure of a foreign regulator, not a domestic one. Finally, my findings have shown the salience of new strategic responses, overcompliance, de-risking, and lobbying adopted by the sector to maintain its legitimacy.